hi everyone I just spent 20 minutes talking about today's lecture without actually recording anything <laughs> anyways so let me go back you don't know what I'm going back to because uh, you weren't present okay so I'm going over today uh, it, this should take about 15 minutes I'm going over uh, the expectations for week three, our work, okay? Um, if you're never sure about what we're doing, what's expected of you each week, all right, you need to have downloaded the assignments and due dates sheet, okay? If you go under start here, list of assignments and due dates. Okay, open. Okay. So, if we see that look, uh, today you had uh, you had the illustration example quiz due by today, okay? So the next thing that is due is the illustrative example essay rough draft. You have one week to write that and to submit it. You have to submit it by by uh, early morning next Monday because um, the second uh, next week's assignment that you'll be working on is reading someone's essay and and critiquing it and giving some feedback. All right, and so you need to have your essay done in a week so that way you can post yours into the discussion board so that someone can proofread it for you. Okay, so go back to. Let's go to our lessons and uh, let's go to lesson one because lesson one goes from August 17th through September 14th. We'll go here. Okay. So then we have chapter, we read the chapters. Okay. We go down and here is our assignment that's due in a week because see we have the due date, August 31st. That's the due date. So um, we have the the instructions. All right. We have um, an outline, and we have a model sample essay. All right. You need to read all of these. For the online course, you have to read pretty much everything. If this was an in-person course, I would go over everything in the class in person. But it's not. It's online. So a lot of it is. Um, has already been posted for you, okay? Okay, illustrative example essays. For this assignment, you will work through the pre-writing and drafting stages of your writing process in an illustration example essay. You are gonna be writing an essay, a five paragraph essay um, as a introduction, body paragraphs, and conclusion. The, here is, you're gonna choose one of the following statements to agree or disagree with in an essay developed by using multiple and extended examples. The statement you decide on should concern a topic you care about so that the examples are a means of communicating an idea. You don't pick one of each of these, okay? I'll be a lot, you pick one, one topic to discuss, okay? Now, I really like this one. Good art can be ugly, you know? I mean, you think about art outside of just photos, but you think about art in terms of music and film. You know, there's a lot of music that might sound rough. It might sound like, for some people, that the music sounds ugly. Like punk music can be like, ugh, or heavy metal music can, can be really rough. Uh, Leonard Cohen, Tom Waits, uh, Louis Armstrong, these are all people who, who sing with a, with a really dirty, growly voice. Some people might feel like their voices are ugly. but the grittiness of their of their vocals give really new you know new life to music there are um like when dmx the rapper came out in the 90s you know his voice was a growl and it was for some people they found his voice to be ugly but that's really part of his persona i mean he was growling because he was angry you know he had something to say and so 
you know, like um, there's a lot that can be conveyed through uh, how tough something can sound. Same thing with like films, you know, some films and TV shows, they are, you know, ugly. They, they're violent. They are dirty. They have, um, they have very pessimistic, negative ideas or themes, but they're still art. They still convey meaning. So that would be a really cool essay to write about is art. Okay. All right. So read through this, read through pre-writing, drafting. Okay. The, the instructions, we got to make sure we are reading more in this class. There's a lot of information and you have to consume it all. You can't rely on just me telling you everything. Okay. And people have been emailing me questions that are already, have already been answered and what's been posted. Okay. So let's make sure that we are putting, that we're consuming everything before we're just trying to get the easy answers. Requirements, things you got to do. Agree or disagree with the prompt statement by using multiple and extended examples. Every paragraph should be have a topic and some examples. Okay. Decide on something you care about so that, so that the narration is a means of communicating an idea. Develop an enticing title. Use the introduction to establish the situation that the essay will address. Um, while you can write in first person, if you have personally gone through something kind of like, um, Brent Staples, uh, black men, public spaces, but don't necessarily though write things like I'm going to write about blah, 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 blah. Okay. You can use yourself as an example, but don't, don't write about what you're going to do. Just do it. And if you want, you know, your, your, the voice in this poem doesn't, I mean, in this uh, paper, it doesn't have to be serious. You can write, um, you can write it in a way that's maybe humorous. All right. Matter of fact, uh, it can be serious. All right. Okay. And show us, don't just tell us, show us through your examples, what you believe, what you think. All right. Okay, so you're gonna write your paper. Then, uh, but before you write your paper, okay, look, you need to have an outline. I, uh, the outline is not a grade, but who cares if it's not a grade? You should do things that, that are uh, important, that are good for you, okay? Um, there's no grade for eating healthy and exercising, but those are all very beneficial things for you, okay? So we should not just be motivated by grades and money, we should be motivated by what is the best thing for you. And writing an outline is very important. The, uh, an outline is your roadmap. It keeps you focused. It keeps you on topic. It keeps you on track. You should not sit down to an essay and just start typing out ideas without having an outline already established. This would be like driving. Let's say that, you know, you had two days, all right, to drive from, you know, Atlanta, Georgia, all the way to um uh, some random place in wyoming okay if you just try to like if you just try to like meander your way through and just kind of you know figure it out on your own you wouldn't get there in two days okay um and if you did you would have wasted a lot of gas you'd be going in circles you'd be going in, in, in the wrong direction have to make u-turns all right all out of your way that's what it's like typing a paper without an outline the outline is your directions all right the outline helps you get to where you need to go and just stay on track so that way you don't go in circles write the at the outline okay uh first body paragraph you know you should uh, uh state what's the one point you want to make in that first body paragraph and then write out what examples are going to use in that one body paragraph okay i would recommend just doing one example one thoroughly discussed example per body paragraph don't try to pile in all these little ones okay it's better to have a depth of conversation on an individual example or illustration than to have a bunch of short little small ones okay it's about quality not quantity every body paragraph should have one central um example and then the rest of the paragraph is is analyzing that example, how that example proves your point. Okay, so you should write out the outline. 
it will help you to focus on your paper because when you type a paper, you don't have to start from the beginning and go to the end. If you have an outline, you can choose which paragraph you want to type first, and then um, you can just copy and paste and move them around. Okay. The outline helps you to be able to think of your paper in chunks rather than just this long thing. Sometimes it, it, it's, it creates more anxiety to think about like, I have to type four pages, okay? Instead of thinking about like, I just gotta type one paragraph at a time. And I already know what I'm gonna be talking about because I already have it written out in my outline. So do the outline people, okay? Okay. Um, here's an example of an essay. You should read it. You are essentially creating your own version of this. Example model essay. All right, yours needs to, your needs to be in MLA formatting. Okay, we have introduction. We have a thesis. And then we have body paragraphs that, that focus on very specific examples. Okay. Three pages. Read it. Get yours to look just like it, but on a different topic. And then submit your essay. Okay. So, look. You need to submit, submit your rough draft here. Okay, but you also need to publish your essay here in the community review. If no one publishes their essay in the community review, we won't be able to do this assignment, okay? So what you do is you create thread, you say, okay, you put your name, Uh, let's see, I'm going I'm to use this essay right here. This is Jane Doe. Jane Doe's essay. Okay. You're going to do attachment. Browse my computer. You are going to Take your essay, open, okay, right, here is my essay draft, thanks guys, ha, ah. okay, it's attached, and you hit submit, you post your essay, because somebody, is going to open up your essay, okay? They're going to click on your essay next week. I'm going to give directions about this. They're going to reply first and say, I will read your essay, okay? Post it. And then they're going to, they've claimed your essay. They've claimed it this, this is for next week after you post your essay. They're going to claim it. They're going to read it. They're going to, they're going to give you feedback. Okay. I'll discuss all that also again next week. So you need to write your rough draft, turn it in through the assignment, and you need to um, post it into the, the discussion board. Okay, post it into the discussion board. Your essay, listen, whenever you write a rough draft, a rough draft is always, should always be the same length, the same length as your final draft, okay? In fact, your rough, your rough draft should be longer than your final draft, okay? A rough draft is not a crappy draft. A rough draft is in a half-ass draft, okay? It is the best possible essay you were able to write the first time around, okay? Then you give it to somebody and they read it and they review it and they give you feedback, okay? 
So when I grade your essays, I'm making sure your, your rough drafts, okay, I'm going to check that they have five paragraphs. It has everything you need, okay? The, 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 the rough draft is essentially a completion grade that you did it, okay? I don't read the whole essay, all right? I check that, that there's a topic, that, that you're on track, all right, that you have these paragraphs and stuff, and so that you're good that way, okay? And your rough draft should not be, uh, it should not be filled with, with all types of grammatical errors. It's not a unedited draft, okay? Your rough draft is your first version, everything you've done. It's the best essay you can write the first time, okay? Edited, everything. And then you submit it to somebody else and they read it and they catch the things that you didn't catch, all right? A rough draft is not a crappy draft. It's not a half-assed draft, all right? It's not an unedited draft, okay? It's like when I turn it, if I'm an author and I turn in my book, I turn in my first draft, okay? I turn in my first draft to my editor, but I still have done as much as I could, the best I could to it. I don't want to be embarrassed. I don't give them a half-done draft. I give them my first draft. They read it and they catch things that I didn't catch, okay? So that's the point of this. It should be not, your doc, Word document should not be marred with tons of green and red squigglies. That means that you never went through and did spell check, okay? So make sure that it is the best possible essay that you could have written on your own. That's your goal for this week, okay? Hit me up if you have any questions. I'll be around. All right, y'all. Bye-bye. I'm done.